Captain Gallant, brought to you by the great new Lego system by Samsonite, and by the makers of famous shopper plastic games, and by Lionel, world famous for trains, science sets, and other fine products. Lego is here. Hey, kids, look. A whole new world to build. Because Lego is here. This young boy had such fun. He used Lego one by one. With it, nap, patty, whack, do double plane. This young boy glad Lego came. Lego, a whole new world to build. This young girl had such fun. He used Lego. Build hotels, animals, people, boats, skyscrapers, and more. So kids, get your Lego set now at department and toy stores everywhere. Lego, the sensation of Europe, now made in America by Samsonite, who make it better for longer-lasting fun. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Tra la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra la 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 la. It isn't fair. What's not fair? The captain promised me he'd take me back to America for Christmas, where there's snow and where it's cold. Yeah, I know. And the colonel promised the captain he could go, because the general promised the colonel. But somebody higher than the general changed the general's mind. Down through the chain of command came a big, fat, round no. My boy, you're in the army, you know. But I haven't seen any snow in my whole life. Oh, well, snow isn't so much. In the first place, it's not near as deep as it used to be when I was a boy. And in the second place, it's wet and cold and, and nothing to it, really. Nothing but sliding down a hill on a sled, making a snowman and throwing snowballs and ice skating. Well, well, it's highly overrated, Cuffy, highly overrated. Besides, a fella can catch a cold doing those things, you know. Oh, King Winston Lot looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. Run, little... Where's Cuffy? Ah, hi, partner. Did the colonel change his mind, maybe? Did he say we could go? No, well, I'm afraid not, Cuffy. Something happened in City Bella Best, and my... Well, my replacement didn't come through. Ah, oh, darn. Well, we couldn't get to the States in time anyway. Tonight's Christmas Eve. But we could see some snow, couldn't we? They don't turn off the snow the day after Christmas, do they? No. No, there's usually some left around. I was just telling Cuffy, Captain. Snow's not so much. Nasty, wet stuff usually turns out to be slush anyway. He's right, Cuffy. But I want to see some for myself. Well, we'll have a good Christmas right here. How? Well, you'll see when the caravan gets in from Marrakesh. It's loaded. With what? Well, they have a half a dozen 20-pound turkeys and sweet potatoes, popcorn, plum pudding, mincemeat. No presents? I believe there are a couple of presents. Aren't there, Fuzzy? Well, it uh, seems to me I heard something about presents. Uh, and there's that uh, very special surprise. What is it? Well, if we were to tell you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, Fuzzy, I think we should tell him to sort of make up for the snow. Maybe you're right, Captain. What is it? Tell me. Tell me. Well, the caravan is bringing a Christmas tree with all the lights and all the ornaments. A real honest-to-gosh Christmas tree? A real honest-to-gosh Christmas tree. From way up in the Atlas Mountains. Gee, maybe it'll be a good Christmas after all. <laughs> sure it will, partner. They're hours overdue already. Even if they do get through the storm, the camels are too slow to get here in time. Maybe camels are too slow, but horses wouldn't be. Well, what do you mean? You could take a patrol and meet them at El Crim. 
We have no way of knowing that they'll get that far. You can try. I'm not going to. Why not? I'm not going to risk a lot of men and horses in, in a sandstorm for a few sacks full of trinkets. Cuffy, this isn't a matter of life and death, you know. No, it's just Christmas and you don't care. You don't care about anything the kids care about. And I don't think you were going to take me to America to see the snow either. You're just, just a stingy old man. All right, you better go and tell your uncle. Why? Aren't you coming with me? Oh, no. Why not? My father doesn't allow me to ride outside the town by myself. Well, you won't be by yourself. You'll be with me. I mean, you won't let me go into the desert without a grown-up along. All right, then, if you're afraid. I'm not afraid, but my father has spoken. Okay. I don't think the Captain Gallant would like you to be riding alone in the desert either. He didn't tell me not to, did he? No, but he has grown up, and grown ups are strange about these things. I think you should ask him first. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about anything, not even Christmas. Nobody around here cares about Christmas but me, and I'm going out to find it for myself. Nobody's seen him. Yeah, I knew he was upset about Christmas, but I didn't think he was so upset he'd miss a meal. I never heard of such a thing. It's plumb unnatural. Andre. Excuse me, Captain. This little one knows something. Abdella, have you seen Cuffy? Yes, my Captain. Where? In the stable. When? Two hours, maybe three. What did he say? He said he was going to find Christmas. The caravan. That sounds like it. Sergeant, we must be dead. Saddle my horse. I'm going after it. The street must be dead. Only. Yes. I request permission to go along with you. Oh, that won't be necessary, Sergeant. He can't have gone very far. Excuse me, sir, for saying so, but this time I think the sergeant's right and you're wrong. You see, sir. I saw Cuffy cross the compound. He was probably on his way to the stable then, but I didn't know. But what I do know, sir, I never seen a bull with his lip out as far as his. What do you mean by that, Fuzzy? Just this, Captain. Cuffy ain't out for no promenade. He's probably spurring that pony for all he's worth. No telling how far he's got by now. I think Fuzzy is right, Mr. Cuffy. Saddle three horses, Sergeant. We will get it. Not even the Legion works today. Sure, I know, and tomorrow is Christmas, and I aim to see it's a merry one. I don't get you. Cuff is gone and got himself lost out there. What do you mean he's lost? I'm telling you, the poor kid's lost. The desert is a big place. A very big place. Thank you. 
Baba. This is as far as we can go. There isn't another oasis out there for nearly a hundred miles. And it's too late to get back to the fort. So we just got to camp out here tonight. Well, Baba, I guess I better get some more wood. Don't worry, Baba. That was just a bird, I think. I hope you had a good dinner, because I sure didn't. There's only green dates on those trees. <laughs> 